This is one of my favorite ways to use AI to save so much time doing research, competitive analysis, or just kind of quickly automating the day-to-day -day tasks that we do every single day. All right, let's jump in and take a look at this. But if you're new here, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We do a daily you know, thing called AI in 5, which is essentially a short uh, tip trick tutorial on how to use generative AI to grow your company and grow your career. So if that's you, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave me a comment, uh, but let's just go ahead and look at this tool. So this is called Chat Hub. So I've done a review of Chat Hub like six or 10 months ago. It's been a long time, uh, but there's actually some new features and new integrations that I think people should be aware of. Uh, so, you know, there is a free version available. I paid a one-time fee to get access uh, to this. So, you know, you can always go and check out uh, the differences between free and premium, but the biggest one in what I'm showing you with, you do have to have a paid plan. Uh, so right now, um, you know, I can chat with up to six chatbots simultaneously. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is uh, for some of these different chatbots, you may need to configure them using your own API key. It's actually super simple. Even if you're not a technical person, uh, if you pay for monthly access to so many of these large language models like we do, uh, you can just go in here and configure it. So um, I have a lot of these configured with our own API keys, such as Perplexity, uh, GPT-40, Gemini, Claude, et cetera. All right, let's get back to it. So what you're gonna do if you do have this or if you want to try this out, um, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to all in one, and then uh, there's different tiers here. So you can do side by side, you can do three, you can do four, I'm going to do six, right? Uh, and then you can choose or swap those out. Uh, so this is another great way, even if you just want to see what types of, of prompting methodologies work different in different models, this is a great way to do it. All right, so uh, what you're going to do is you can go in the drop down here and you can see which ones you're connected to via API. Uh, something I love about Chat Hub is they also have this toggle to bring web access because as example, Claude does not have web access. The, the, the rest of these do. Uh, so this is a uh, kind of third-party integration through Chat Hub that provides that. So uh, enough about this. Let's just go ahead and do a quick little prompt to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm saying, please recap what happened at the Apple WWDC keynote on June 10th, 2024. Be brief and highlight the top 10 things to know. I'm going to hit enter, and then you can see it's going on every single one of these. So uh, some of these are going to react a little different than others, and don't make this as an end conclusion on the speed of that speed specific uh, kind of large language model, right? Again, we're accessing this through a third party uh, service, but what you can see is, is how well it, you know, follows prompt handling and just how good of a job it does recapping everything, right? Uh, so this is great. So uh, we already, uh, the Claude and the OpenAI GPT-4 already responded back with some great things here. Uh, same thing with Perplexity. Uh, Gemini responded back, you know, so it, most of them, you know, had a lot of similar things. So, you know, it kind of led, uh, all of these led with Apple intelligence, which was the biggest thing. Uh, let's see, it looks like every single one of them did. So, I mean, just right there, you saw how all these large language models with a very simple prompt were able to, uh, best understand and prioritize based on, uh, kind of their web findings. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, for some reason, uh, the, uh, chat GPT via the web access is not working. Uh, and that's with GPT-4 Turbo, at least in this instance, whereas the uh, GPT-4.0 uh, direct integration with their API is up here in the upper right-hand corner. Let's just do one other uh, simple simple one here. I'm just gonna say, uh, please find me a list of the top 10 free resources to learn generative AI in 2024, right? Uh, he here's an example of how this can save you time. This might turn into a ongoing deep search for, um, for resources, right? You might spend accidentally 45 minutes uh, on Google, just quickly going and, and finding out which one of these are actually best, right? So each one of these, you might have to actually click in over and over. And you'll see we have different results, um, you know, different results in all of these different ones. So here's a little, a little hack that I like to do. Uh, all right. So now we're just hack stacking here. So I like to, you know, highlight all of these, right? 
So let's just make sure it's all selected. There we go. And so I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to copy all this text. And then I'm going to go uh, into single, uh, essentially single chat here. I'm going to click the clear conversation. And then I'm going to say, hopefully this will uh, fit. I'm going to say, uh, please uh, prioritize a top 10 list uh, based on the amount of times it was mentioned. All right, this might be too long to work. Uh, so essentially I just copy and pasted, uh, all the different findings from the different, uh, from the six different kind of research requests. So not only did I completely hack and not have to go into each of those, but I got different top 10 lists from these six different, um, resources. So now I'm using, uh, these two large language models here, chat GPT and Gemini to essentially say, Hey, here's 60 different, um, you know, kind of ref, uh, resources that I found 10 each from six different large language models. Right. Um, and just having it do essentially, I mean, you would normally run a Python script, be like, Hey, here's 60 things, which of these things, uh, appeared the most, right. Uh, because in theory, if it appears in more of them, it's going to be more authoritative. All right. So I actually like the, the Gemini, uh, one here because it also tallied the number of mentions. So as an example, if this was mentioned four times by four of the six models. It's probably really good. So I probably know that at least these ones that had multiple mentions might be my best. So there you go. Not only is this going to save you time by being able to connect in theory with six different large language models at once, but I just showed you an additional hack that you can stack uh, to you know kind of uh, know which one might give you the best or the most um, kind of repeated information, which is a huge time saver. All right. If this is helpful, let me know in the comments. Also go to your everydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back in another AI in five. Thanks y'all.